Okay, um, so see if you can make sense of what I did here. I believe it was this switch that I pulled out. I can't really tell because what I did was I applied solder to each of the legs anyways. Um, now the idea is, the so I believe, so this is the one that got the pad lifted. Now why did I solder it down? That's just to keep the switch in place. Um, and then what I did was, if it's the left leg, what you can do is you can hook it up to a switch on the right side of it and to the left side of it on their legs that is in the same position, so their left legs as well. And so what this does is it then um, completes the circuit. Um, and then if it's a right leg that got the pad lifted, what you're going to have to do is like over... Hmm, let me try to get this focused. Uh, okay. So then what you would have to do is then wire it to the diode. So it's coming from this diode to this right leg of this switch because this pad got lifted as well. I forgot that I actually had more than one pad lifted. Um, so for this one, the reason why it's wired is like this is because it's the center switch and the left leg of the center switch that got lifted and so I hooked it up to the left leg of the switch next to it and the left leg of the switch on the other side of it so that it completes the circuit this way and then if it's on the right switch this is of course if you're looking at your ANPRO on the back with the spacebar and then the uh, microcontrollers at the bottom so when I say right side it's in that orientation. Then if it's on the right leg here, wire it to the diode. And so what it is, is it's the bottom. So this is the uh, top of the diode, and then the bottom of the diode, wire it to the bottom of the diode, and then to this leg. Um, yep, and then that's about it.